opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of the first half for him. And that's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. going to get a delay. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The delay of game backs him up five first and 15. They'll try the middle with Cook. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. They get the penalty yardage back plus a yard. Six yard gain and it's second and nine. To throw is Tannehill. That is caught by Thielen. Touchdown! Three touchdown passes there for Ryan Tannehill. And the Vikings take a three touchdown lead. Joseph now to add the PAT. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21 0. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, CD, you, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could do. He's got a man! complete and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down on first down it's Herbert finding Williams once more complete and they'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14 they pick up 14 well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there maybe can get them focused and moving in the right direction. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Herbert off of play action. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Mike Williams, 28 yards. And the Lions get a bit closer. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21 7. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on the... There he goes, left side! 20, 10, touchdown, Vikings! Well, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter. They're absolutely 
blitzing them, all the points that they've put up. I'm not sure what you're saying on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. Joseph connects on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw here, Herbert. Austin is there and brings in another one. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Don't book you. You might miss Calvin Austin, one of the fastest and shiftiest players from the 2022 NFL Draft. A dynamic guy in the slot. When he makes a catch, you better get him on the ground in a hurry. Otherwise, he'll burn you in open space. Pair that with his 4-3 speed, and he's nothing but a big play waiting to happen. A little bit of that on display right there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Herbert. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. But sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. And that one, and even 60 yards in the air. Wow. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And that's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw completes a Rager. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So many times in my career, heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be able to control. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or... Keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Again, it's Cook. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. That's why the guy with the headsets is down there. All right, they know what they're doing because they got stuffed on a running play on first down. And I think myself and probably the fans were saying throw the football in this situation. But he knew what he was doing, called another run, and now they've got third and short. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 
Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead, and part of that can be attributed to their success on third down. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. There's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. After the run, Tannehill going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Ryan Tannehill, an eight-yard touchdown run. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Joseph connects on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play action. It's Herbert. He'll let it fly for Austin. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect to see down the road. That is caught. It's Williams. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Daniil Hunter coming in from that outside linebacker spot, and he buries him for a loss of seven. Well, that's what they have to do more up defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked up by a feet to Metal And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? And they work this well up the field across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On first down, it's Tannehill. Being chased out left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Back to throw, Tannehill. Puts it on the carpet, it's out. And this is scooped up by the Lions. Well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run, and obviously ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. To the 36-yard line, stop there. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. This one finds Austin out right. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with a kind of... And in for the Lions touchdown! Mike Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. No run back here, down to a knee. And this drive will start at the 25. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Over the middle complete. It's Cook. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. From the 50, it's Tannehill. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Tannehill on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Tannehill throwing again. 
Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Now Greg Joseph for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 34. The kick by Joseph is good. And with it, they have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Detroit. Mike Williams in the final seconds of the first half. And the Lions have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Batchley, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. The Vikings take over first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. The final shot here before the break. Tannehill. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down to Orlando and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line to so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On second and inches, Herbert. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Harris, not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from the six this time.
Herbert now. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Brock Wright from six yards away. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Let's go. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Tannehill. Out to his left. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. If you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Back to the air, Herbert on second down. And this is caught by Williams. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now a first down carry for Harris. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spill an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. On second and goal, Herbert. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A five-yard touchdown catch as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know what he thinks going on out there, CD. That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well 
to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by a feet to Melifonwu. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, but I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in the league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Now a first down throw, Tannehill rolling to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack, Tannehill. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to have it here just past the 25. But to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game. But that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Jeff Akuda. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. The number seven, usually lucky here. Not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he won a Heisman Trophy in college. So sometimes you just have a lousy game. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career. But when you talk about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. Yeah, Ty Detmer, the last to do it in 2001 to throw seven picks. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Lewis C. And the Vikings are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. 
And it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't admit it to themselves, but we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. The following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Forced out to his left. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Well, here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open man is Thielen. is complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, Tannehill. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they got it well across midfield down to the three before it's all said and done. So signs of life and what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Tannehill. That is caught by Thielen. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A very solid gain of 27. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before the And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he's got some space here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game. And they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are. And let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all. But in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Herbert. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Now it's Herbert. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as the ball will come out 
to the 20. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw a second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ballgame, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. It's another first down on a big game of 33 yards. Now Tannehill. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Throwing again is Tannehill. It's incomplete. Took a shot and couldn't connect. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here's Tannehill. Throw left side taken in by Jefferson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Ryan Tannehill with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. The Vikings leave the offense on the field as they're going to line up and go for two. Now receiver in motion left. And he'll get in. And they're going to draw themselves two points closer. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. First down, Justin Herbert. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Calvin Austin with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Lions are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth-quarter lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they, unfortunately, are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. On first down, Tannehill. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. With that interception, he just set a record that nobody ever wants to set, and that's the most picks ever in an NFL game. Eight. The eight. The eight. Eight. The last time we saw seven, 2001, right? Yeah. It's Ty, Ty Detmer. Detmer. He's with the Lions at that time. To get to eight, are we sure he knows what color jerseys his team's wearing in this one? He's, I don't know. It has not been good. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Yeah. 
So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about seven. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Tracy Walker. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Here's Herbert. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. They'll try to run with Harris, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, just about everything they've run has been successful in this one. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm done with this, right? I have no answers for anything. In fact, I probably send a note to the clock operator. Let it run. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. On second and 10, Tannehill. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. This one brought in by Jefferson. And they work this well on field across the 45. To the air again, Tannehill. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Tannehill. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. 
to throw is Tannehill. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. But they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like that's caught inside the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They're going to pass here with Herbert. This is caught. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Badgley on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard. They just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try. And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. I'm not a big believer in 110%, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. We'll see if they go back to base. To throw once more on second and ten. Tannehill, he's going to let it fly. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. 
On the move to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And I tell you what, I can't remember.